Hi everybody, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall here. Happy New Year. Today I have my 2021 Word of the Year project and in this one I'm making a vintage grunge art journal cover. Hi everybody. So it is the end of 2020 and what you're looking at here is my Word of the Year for 2020 which was Challenge. I have been doing Word of the Year for six years. This will be the seventh year. So over the last month, month and a half, I've been thinking about what I want to do, what my word for 2021 is going to be. And I've decided that my word for 2021 is possibility. My journal, my art journal, is full of possibilities. This is where I go to for ideas. I love the vintage grunge of this one, and I love the daisy that I did here, the overpainting on the daisy. And what I'm going to do is combine these two pages, fix up some things that I didn't like, and I want to try painting those daisies that yellow color, because I really like how that yellow popped off that vintage background. So let's get started. So this time I am doing the cover of my 9 by 12 Canson Mixed Media Journal. Now I've taken the coils out, off, and removed the pages so I can paint on them on a flat surface. And then at the end, I'm going to put it all back together again when all the pages are done. So right now I am giving a good coat of gesso and then I decide, you know, I'm going to do, take this spiral stamp, swirl stamp and stamp into the wet gesso. This is going to add some very subtle pattern and very subtle texture. I didn't like how the blue shone through and wasn't sure if that was going to show later. So I'm giving this another coat of gesso just to prepare the surface for whatever I may choose to throw at it. Now remember this is just breaking that blank page. I'm starting from scratch. Some of these things are just going to add little bits of interest to the layers. I have this quadrifoil reverse stencil and I am stenciling with black paint on the background. And again, I'm choosing black because I do want some of this to show through at the end. But I'm uncertain exactly where I'm going and how much of it will show through. But I know this is a motif that I want to keep. So st using your stencils and stenciling with black at this stage is a good way of adding interest to your background that isn't in your face. Then I grabbed this stencil and I'll put the links to both of these stencils in the back in the description box below and I'm just putting this motif. I like how this is a little bit darker, a little bit blacker and I will absolutely come back and use this stencil again. You don't see a lot of this in the final part. I do not choose to bring it out but I love how this looks here. So I'm making a note to myself that this is a possibility I'm going to act on at some other time. As I keep stenciling here, the word I chose this, this year, possibility, or embrace possibilities. I want to look for the possibilities that exist in my life, in my art life, in my personal life, in my home life as well as then take those possibilities and embrace them, make them realities. Here I'm taking my script stamp from Darkroom Door. It's a nice, bolder, bigger script and just stamping that on. Now I'm going to apply the colors and I don't know why I grabbed yellow here. I had this idea of putting yellow because with the yellow daisies, that I want to do, but I end up covering this up. I'm putting this blue, this is Amsterdam blue green, I believe, or green blue. I'm applying it. It looks more blue here. And then I'm you adding 
some quinacridone gold, I believe, which gives this, and now I'm using, um, I can't think of the brown. I will think of it later. Burnt Sienna, that's the color. It's very close to the quinacridone gold, but it's a little more opaque, and I wanted that. So this is very bright and bold. Now I want to apply more texture, so I am grabbing my favorite DIY. This is a sink liner. I'm applying extra thick gesso onto it and just stamping onto the cover. I am not looking for a perfect stamp. I am basically, I want this to be color and text, or not color, this will be textured. I do plan on painting it in some fashion, and you stay tuned to see. Now I'm taking the Naples yellow, and I'm giving this a wash of color. I don't want that white but I wasn't sure that I want it to go brown. So I tried the Naples yellow and you can see the effect that I get here. It does tone it down. Wasn't exactly grungy enough for me. So I come back in with raw umber and that's giving me more of that grungy feel that I want for this cover. I love making vintage grunge backgrounds. They're so freeing because you can make mistakes and cover it up. Now I'm stamping with turquoise on here. I wanna bring out some of that turquoise, especially in the brown areas. Just building those layers. And then I'm going to stamp with the brown on some of the bluer areas. Again, with that same motif that's dot stamp from Stampandus. Cleaning my stencil or stamp before I go on. Now I'm giving this a wash of Prussian blue. And I don't know, when in doubt, do a wash of Prussian blue. This makes it grungy and vintagey, but not so brown. And I'm I really like that effect. And I'm loving the background here. It's not quite in the teal family, but it's not bright blue. It's dulled down. And I'm removing it with the baby wipe a little bit here and there as I go, adding more color, taking off color, doing the little dance, just till it looks good to me. I love that motif and it was a little push more pushed back than I wanted so I'm I got my stencil out and I'm doing it lightly with the black paint just to make it a, more in the foreground because it really works this stencil really works well with that vintage grunge feel that I want and I'm taking the black paint on the makeup sponge and edging my page or cover in this case. I, you could do this exact same thing on a canvas, on a wood panel, on an art journal page. Now here are these daisies that you've seen me use before. They are bigger and I did print off a couple and I'm created my own composition with them. So you can alter it by the size, by where you want them. Now I grabbed my wooden block stamps and I stamped out with ink on paper just to get the spacing. And then I'm going to use that to make sure I don't make spelling mistakes and again to get the spacing correctly. I'm using Liquidex Fluid Matte Medium here to glue this down.
And then I'm just putting a line again. This is so I can eyeball it and get it somewhat straight. I'm not going to fret if it's not perfectly, perfectly straight because it's almost impossible to get the letters to be perfectly straight. Now I'm stamping. I got white paint on my glass table surface and I spread it with a palette knife, stamp into it, and then I stamp where I want it. And the more you practice with this, the better you get. And because it's acrylic paint and everything underneath it is acrylic paint, you do have a minute that you can come in with a baby wipe and erase it and come back. Just don't be too rough because you could still lift the acrylic paint underneath it if you were really scrubbing on it. I like to press the block down and hold it for a while. That seems to let the paint become as dark as you want it to. And I chose to stamp with white here because the background is so dark and I didn't want to cut out, didn't want to do this on Word and, and have it on the paper. I didn't want that look. So possibility is my word and my goal is to embrace possibility. Look for ways to make things happen. Look for opportunities. Now I'm painting in the stems with a combination of Naples Yellow and Booker's Green. Now in the last one, I've had the idea that maybe it would look better if I did the center of the daisy First, I wasn't happy with the center, so you got to practice. You got to try new things, which is why I'm doing this sooner than later. While it's fresh in my mind, what I did, and I can learn. Now, I could have left this white in the tones that are there, and it looks perfectly lovely. But I did have the idea of using yellow and using that burnt sienna. So right now, I am taking white gesso and just using a small angle brush and globbing it on. I want this to develop more texture. I'm using the printable as a starting point, as a guide, but if I go, sometimes I'm going longer, I'm altering the shape of the leaf, I may be changing it. I'm not worried about that. I'm globbing it on and I'm keeping this fairly, I want to keep this wet because I'm going to come back now with yellow and I try the bright yellow and it's too bright. It doesn't fit the vintage vibe that I've got going on. Maybe for another page. So I go to cadmium yellow and I put that on. And then I have some burnt sienna there as well. And I'm, I don't like when the yellow and the burnt sienna mix. So then I quickly change what I'm doing, put the yellow on, and then I come back with the burnt sienna afterwards. But I don't want it to be too blendy. I didn't like that look. love how there's that little bit of white halo around that just adds to it's like I added highlights getting rid of the white line that I made with my Stabilo all pencil and now I'm going and doing the other daisies and while the, I, this video is sped up, I am moving at a quick pace because I do want to work wet and wet. I find that that works better. And the looser I got with applying the paint, the better I liked it. The bottom one, I was a little too stiff. And as I kept going, I kept getting looser and looser as I was doing it. And I was loving the effects.
but you need to practice those things. When you start, it's going to feel awkward, and then you, the more you do, the better you get. No shortcut. We all have to do the work. So with the possibilities, with my art, if I have an idea in an art journal page like this, do another one with that bright yellow with a more cheery background, not vintage background, I'm going to write that down in my possibility book to keep track of the ideas. Because we all have all these ideas and then we sit down and we go, oh, what did I want to do? So I'm going to just have a place to write those down. And then have a special time, you know, once a week or that I can go through and say, oh, yeah, remember that? I wanted to do that. Or if I'm stuck, I can open the book and go through the possibilities and the ideas. Now, I wanted to introduce some yellow to the background, so I'm splattering with gold. This is gold paint that I've mixed with water. I just pre-mix it ahead of time in a, and keep it in a little container because I use it a lot. Now you'll notice that the white letters of Embrace Possibility, they're very bright. They don't seem to fit that vintage background, especially now that I've changed the daisies to yellow. So I do give them a very subtle wash of brown here, but I didn't get that on camera but I do dull them down, make them look a little bit more like they belong on the page. Here I'm shading with the float acrylic technique with the brown. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love these yellow, burnt, orange daisies. Still not 100% happy with my centers, but you know, I'm going to keep working on it. adding some black, adding some brown. Now I want some more of that script stamp, so I'm stamping with the Burnt Sienna, and I love that addition. And then I believe I stamp it with some black as well, with that dark room door script stamp. Loving this page. So there is my page, and it is the cover again of my Cancer Mixed Media Journal, the 9 by 12 one. The pages I've taken out, I've taken it off the coil and I'm working on it. And when all the pages are done, there are some of them. You've seen the tutorials and they're all on the in my YouTube channel if you want to go and check out some of these tutorials. There's the coil, so when it's all done, I will be assembling this. Now, I will be giving this a coat of Minwax Polycrylic Varnish that I get at the hardware store, either satin or um, gloss finish. I hope you love this as much as I do. Follow me, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, leave me a comment, share my tutorials with your creative friends. But most importantly, embrace possibilities. Look for ways to make your art happen. Take chances, explore, experiment, and have fun. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy 2021.